I'm Star and welcome to my channel Starlight Starlight 70. If you're returning, thank you so much for coming back and if you are new, welcome. Come on in. So today I have a little bit of this and a little bit of that. <laughs> I was going through some of the stuff that I have to review and I came across some old paintings that I should have reviewed probably a long time ago. And then a couple new ones that my husband got me a couple weeks ago. So uh, two of them I believe are from FG Normal and two of them are from AliExpress. Um, if I can find the prices and links I will for sure send them to you. Um, if I don't find them uh, by the time I post this video, please just let me know if you're interested in any of them and I'll do my darndest to find them for you. I have a shout out today and this shout out she is almost at a thousand guys um, she loves Disney her name is Coco for Disney so or cuckoo <laughs> it's C-O-C-O -O for Disney but yeah she's at 997 subscribers um, she loves everything Disney and she's just a real joy to watch I don't believe she died on paint so but um, that's okay uh, I just really love watching her because, yeah, she just loves everything Disney. Uh, let's see. She was talking yesterday about Peter's Dragon. Um, she does ornament swaps, which is really, really cool. So, yeah, she has a lot of things. Maybe we can get her into diamond painting. <laughs> but there's her channel right there. Hopefully that works. I don't know if that's going to work. Oh, your order is being packed. Let me, let me try to turn off here. Turn off the TV and see if that works better. I don't know. Probably not. I can see, probably the only thing that's reflecting is, but there you go, is my camera to this camera. So yeah, but anyway, it's Coco. Our cuckoo for Disney. <laughs> she's so funny. But anyway, guys. Uh, like I said, she's at 996 subscribers. She has 269 videos. And she says, a lifestyle involving a touch of Disney. Okay? And lots of Disney. <laughs> so if you're a Disney nut like me, and absolutely love Disney, go check her channel out. Let's go show her some RV love that we have here. And let's get her to a thousand. She only needs three more. Uh, wouldn't that be really, really nice if our RV family got her over a thousand? I think so. So yes, go go over there. Go um, subscribe to her. Go show her some love. And that would be most wonderful. Alright, love and light. So of course these are from Doreen Virtue. If you join me every day, you'd know that. <laughs> and if you're new here, yeah, welcome. Mostly we do diamond painting here. Um, sometimes do a different, some Timu hauls that are a little bit different than just diamond painting, but I do a lot of D Timu hauls, but they're mostly all diamond painting. I absolutely love diamond painting. Um, I've been at it for almost a year. The reason why I say almost, my first time that I started down painting was July 22nd. And I'm going to see if I can find my very first diamond painting. I'll get my husband to have a look. I think it's under our, our bed. Um, we have one of those pull-up beds that have storage underneath. So I think that's where, where my very first diamond painting is. So I'll have him look and see if it's there. And I'll pull it out for July 22nd. <laughs> All right, I shuffled the cards. We're going to see what we get today. And today is Blessings of Innocence and Purity. God bless those whose hearts are pure, for they will see God. Matthew 5 8. And there is a card. Absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful cards. But yes, Blessings of Innocence and Purity. So keep your heart pure. For they will see God. Matthew 5, 8. God blesses those hearts that are pure. So I definitely try to keep my heart pure. <laughs> um, I talk to God every day. 
um, and if I've done any wrong, I ask for forgiveness, and even if I didn't know if I've done wrong, I've asked for forgiveness, and I do that every single day, and if I know that I've done wrong on the spot, I will ask for forgiveness. <laughs> Because you never know when your last breath will happen. But I do, I do uh, my best to keep my heart pure. And my heart is full of love and it's full of joy and it's full of happiness. So that is my heart. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. And we are going to look at these diamond paintings. So I'm going to flip you down and we are going to have a look. I'm going to try this. We're going to, we're going to do it a little bit different. Today, I've got on my Canadian um, USA shirt that I wore for uh, US and Canada Day. So you might see that shirt. But there we go. Hopefully that works good. There we go. So I thought something different. So I've got an off-canvas thing here. Now this one comes from AliExpress. And it came late. So it didn't come with the other ones. But the box has seen better days. <laughs> Beautiful way that the uh, the box their stuff. Oh, I got a comment yesterday, and I just have to mention this. It was so cute. So I don't know if you remember, but I opened up my very first dime painting. I had two um, two trays, two pens, and two waxes. And I says, "Oh, geez, I think they thought I was an octopus." Well, I noticed that I was reading through my comments this morning. Sorry, I haven't replied yet, but I will. And uh, beautiful lady says, <laughs> says, well, no, it's not because you're an octopus. It's because they know Fred's going to help you. And I said, oh, my goodness, bless her soul, because <laughs> I could not imagine uh, doing a diamond painting with my husband. I, uh, I love him to death. Don't get me wrong. He's a wonderful man. But, yeah, no, I think we would have each other's necks if uh, we were to diamond paint together. Even though it's couples, yes, it's couples, but, oh, my goodness. <laughs> he would be going one way, I'd be going another way, and, yeah, probably not the best scenario. But that was a very cute answer, and, yes, probably they knew that I was doing couples week. And there's the first one. Isn't that just the most adorable thing ever? Hopefully you can see really good there. But it's just a little lamb. A little lamb. Oh my goodness, a little deer. <laughs> I'm still stuck on Mary's little lamb. But yeah, little deer. Absolutely gorgeous. It's of course going to be a stand. So the stand is in here as well. And I just think it's just too, too cute. Too cute. Reminds me of little Bambi. So there's a stand here. So when done, put them in the stand. Here, let me just turn this up just a little bit there. There you go. And there, there it is. So just too cute. Beautiful roses. Or flowers and roses. I think those are all roses, and then some more roses down here. Then you'll fill in her whole. I'm gonna call it a her, her whole body. And so yeah, really cute. I love this one. And it will be a nice, quick little project. Those, that's something really nice. So of course, it comes with your basic kit there. That's all you need to dye and paint. It has your boat, it has your tray, I mean, it has your tray, <laughs> or boat, whatever you want to call it. It has your wax, and it has a pen in there. And these are the special jewels that came with this one. Try not to shake the table. Oh, separate again. So here are two of the colors there. So it looks like gold and silver. Silver and gold have I none. <laughs> but now I do. I got silver and gold. And these are the other colors. So you got your turret, you got your white, or it almost looks like a crystal there. Uh, I just call them teardrops. I don't know what the, all the different names to these are, but they're all really pretty crystal sh or pretty
pretty shapes. I love those pearl ones. Love those flower ones. And some more. I know they all have a name, but I just haven't liked the names yet. But absolutely gorgeous colors there. Beautiful. Beautiful colors. And it will look really, really cute when done. This is a nice project. I like to do these kind of projects in the evening. Uh, in between some of my bigger paintings that I'm working on. I'll probably do her. Maybe I'll even do her tonight. I don't know. We'll see. Um, I think I might have my kitty cat done today. Maybe. If I work on it this afternoon. It's still going to be a warm one here. It's going to be 99 degrees. So still kind of warm to be outside and doing things. So... Another nice day to sit inside and do diamond painting. Plus, I get to watch all my channels, so. I usually end up having a nap, because I wake up so early. But this morning, it's it's like, what, 7 o'clock, I think, here this morning, and everyone is still sleeping. So anyway, yes, that is the first one. So I'm just going to put this one over here. And we'll get to where's the other one. I, I believe this one too came from AliExpress. I believe so. Is this the one I want to open next? Ah, uh, this one here. So, got this one. And like I said, I don't have any prices or anything for you, but if I do find it or if my husband knows, then he'll do, he'll put the links in my description when uh, this afternoon. So they might not be in it when you're first watching this. Because I'm going to upload it and stuff. But this one is a 40 by 40. It comes with a nice little kit here. So you have a cute little white boat there. You got a pair of tweezers. You have, um, here's a three. No, this one looks about a four placer, I think. And I'm not sure what size this one is. So that's what comes. And you get your squishy. You got lots of wax in there too. But yeah, I'm pretty sure that's a four placer. I should start trying four. I'm starting to get really good with three placer, so maybe I should upgrade to four. Here are the drills, and these are the diamonds. These ones are all square, it looks like. Yep. All square. And all, they better be all square and not square and round. Imagine doing a dime painting like that. <laughs> oh my goodness but yes so th this one is a square <laughs> oh, it's too funny I mean they look pretty good they look kind of nice and these are the colors here but yeah they, they don't look too bad at all. I was just kind of looking to see. But yeah, it doesn't look like there's too much junk or anything in them, which is very, very nice. And I'm always kind of leery sometimes working on budget-friendly square, but I love this one. Uh, this one is a little bit pixelated. Pixelated. <laughs> <laughs> from my point of view but it does you can see her on camera and I'm just going to straighten her out a little bit here nice nice and sticky yeah nice and sticky not as sticky as some but it's still nice and sticky oh I'm making a mess making a mess now this one does have, does it have two charts? Yeah, it has two charts on either side. Uh, it has 30 colors. I'm going to have to do it the other way because it doesn't want to go nicely. Oh dear. Still got a nice line across there. Oh well. So cute. So it's just a little girl and her doggy. I love my little girls. I 
this one gives quite a bit of extra extra paper here if I folded it up underneath yes I did oh my goodness all right there we go <laughs> I need practice or I need something I need help especially when I'm doing these my goodness they never want to lay flat for me all right good enough I say good enough for now all right there she is absolutely absolutely adorable so you got your little girl you got your puppy Just trying to figure out where the best place to see it um, love the pattern on her dress there but they're just sitting on a bench She's got shoes but yeah, she's just sitting on a bench there. She's talking to her puppy. Puppy's got his little tongue sticking out. Just so adorable. She's got a little bow in her hair. I just love it. Um, like I said, this one has 30 colors. Let me just turn her hair real quick and see what it sets here. So this chart is very small. Where is my... I'm going to see if I have my um, measuring tape see what size she actually is. One. She is like almost a 240. So she is almost a 240. Uh, but this one has looks like letters, symbols, and numbers. Uh, the chart isn't that easy to see, but as you can see here, here's the chart there. Not, not the easiest to see, but, and then of course the gel fill. Looks really, really nice. That's uh, just, the gel fill there. I think she's going to look absolutely beautiful when she's done. And... Yeah, I think I'll like working on this one. Hopefully, like I said, she is a square, but we, we shall see how she turns out. And again, I believe he got this one from AliExpress. Um, this is a thinner canvas. And, I mean, it's not too, too bad in the back for wrinkles. I'll just put it under my mattress and have her flattened out. And she should be fine. Alright, that's the first one. I mean, who knows, she might have, I'm thinking maybe just the deer came from AliExpress and these other ones are from FG Normal. Hmm, maybe. Maybe, because this one is, looks much the same. So this one is a 40 by 40, and I do know that these ones are my last of the ladies that my husband got me from FG Normal. And I, and I did just review FG Normal the other day. I had a PR for them. I do like their company. And my husband got me the whole series of these ladies here. So we're going to have a look at this one here. And these are the last two from that series. And there she is. Now she is kind of distorted a little bit see around the eye here but hopefully she'll turn out really nice and of course so yeah maybe the other one came from FG normal too because it looks like they come with the same boat pen four placer I believe and tweezers and wax so yeah same same kit so maybe they did all come this one is around though uh, Diamonds look really nice. So here's the diamonds to her. Really nice. Yeah. Nice and sparkly. Bunch of different colors. Oh, we got a, we got a, what do they call them? A hitchhiker. It's <laughs> that one. Actually, that looks almost like an AB. You know what? I think that one is an AB. Maybe. So maybe there is an AB in this one. 
Yep. So it does have this one here looks like it's AB. See how it shines a little bit different there? So I think there is ABs in this one. At least one AB. I don't see any other in there. Oh yeah, there's a darker one too. So there is a couple ABs. So here's this one here again 40 by 40 this one has 29 colors in it and so let's see if we can straighten this one out a little bit more but yeah she is a little bit distorted or however you want to say it um i'm just going to use my arm here just to flatten it out a little bit more hopefully it's got a very very thin layer for their for their covering what do you call this? Just the paper, I guess. And that covers their painting. I think I did a worse job. I did do a worse job. Oh dear. I am not good at this. Okay, we're going to do it this way. I need Jack and I need her struggle bus. <laughs> And if you watch Jack, you know exactly what I mean. She's a really good channel to watch. I will link her in my description as well. Go and give her uh, some love. She is my sister from another mister. <laughs> and because uh, we're both adopted, we did a mystery swap together. And uh, yeah, she means a lot to me. And it's funny, so she, I'm going to tell you a little story. So she ended up accidentally getting one of her packages sent to me, which was fine. I said, no, don't worry about it. I'll get it right sent out to you. So her package, which I thought her package came, I mailed it out to her. She gets it and she says, um, are these yours? <laughs> I'm like, oh dear, yes they are. So now she has to mail it back to me. So yes, <laughs> oh, too funny. Okay, I can't get this straight for the life of me. Oh my goodness, what is wrong with this one? You know what? These canvases are so thin that I cannot even. I can't even get this this back on straight. Yeah, no. Not even going on straight. Oh well. You know what? It's going to be crinkly and I will fix it later. I'll put, I'm going to just tear these off and I'm going to put other uh, coverings on it. And it is what it is. As they say, it is what it is. But there she is. She's absolutely gorgeous. She's got a beautiful dress on. She's got flowers. And I believe she's got beautiful flowers in her hair. Um, I believe she had this red hair. Is there a picture of her? Yeah, there is. Let me just look at the thumbnail. Actually, she's got blonde hair. But let's see if I can get the picture at least for you. There's the picture of her there. Isn't she gorgeous. It's absolutely beautiful. Now, the last ladies I showed, I believe they were by window. They have like kind of a window frame in here. So these ones look like they're kind of out in the garden and so yeah absolutely beautiful and I made a total mess down here <laughs> so yeah could not get it straight for the life of me so yeah I don't like this thin film or whatever they use for uh, straightening out because yeah I cannot get it straight at all I don't know why it just does not want to go straight Okay, let's try this one some more, guys. I'm just going to try one more time. And I'm going to go slow. They say, have patience. Just have patience. Nope. Just doing it right there, too. Tinkle, 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 tinkle. Nope. No, it just wants to stay uh, all crinkly. Wow. Hey, wowzers. 
doesn't matter how I do it. It's like, no. I need one of those really big, um, what do you call it? These things, you know, like the real, real big ones. Maybe that's what my problem is. I need a bigger one. Maybe I'll have to put that down so I remember to purchase one. All right, it is what it is. Anyway, so this one has 29 colors. It is, there's the chart. Very, very small chart again. Let's see if I can show you how small that is. But on camera, it looks actually not too bad. But in, but when you have it down, see if I can show you. Look at that. It gets smaller and smaller and smaller. So yeah, I had to have it right up to my face to read it. But it has letters, numbers, and symbols. I need even a funky little symbol here. I don't even know what that symbol is. So... Uh, the drill fill though was really really nice. It does look like it has some uh, training circles around it, at least around the, the uh, base area. See if I can show you that. See those see those uh, training circles there. But then over here, I don't see any. So, but up here, I see a bunch of chaining circles around, the, around her neck and stuff. Whoops. Around her neck and stuff there. So, but nice drill fill though. I have to say, very, very nice drill fill. But yeah, that's going to be a fun one to do. So, yeah. So that's that one. And it is around. And then my very last girl in the series is here. Let's go see what she looks like. Sorry for the noise. My goodness. very noisy oh she's pretty so let's see what she's gonna look like canvas looks got a bit of a fold here that needs to be worked out this one is around again comes with your same kind of kit there same same thing get your four placer and so forth but here you can see a couple wrinkles there so I don't know how well you can see that on camera but there are a couple here that need to be straightened out so that's gonna have to happen and there she is she's absolutely gorgeous love her so yeah I'm not even gonna fiddle with the plastic on top of this one sorry guys <laughs> yep I'm not gonna fiddle with it this one has 29 colors as well it is around here are her colors here hopefully you can see some of them and there's some ABs in this one. It looks like it. There's a darker AB right there. And there's another darker AB. Oh dear. One, two. Two dark ABs in here. So. Oh, and then there's a blue. Ooh, a blue AB. Okay. Let's open up these, these ones here. Let's have a look. Let's have a looky. Why not? It's hump day. Let's have a looky. And of course it's going to stick all over this painting. Just because. Alright. Let's have a look to see. Where did I see that one? So it's got like a gray color. And it's got a bit of a... Oops. Of course they're going to get stuck together. This one is AB815. So it's nice. So it says right on your baggies you have the number, you have what AB it is, and then you have 14. So 12, which is 815. I don't know what the 14 stands for. No idea. 
what to 14. But it does say AB and it has your DMC code on it. So just a couple reds there. Really nice diamonds. And this one is 414, so of course it's the gray. And it's number 6, 1093. I wonder if this means how many diamonds are in it. But there's got to be more than 14 in this one. Maybe that's how many, how many ABs are actually on the painting, the 14. Because this one says 1093. See that, 1093? But yeah. So I'm not sure. But yeah, really nice gray there. Very pretty. So there's the gray, and then you have black. Yeah, this is a 310. So this one says 1,100. And I don't really care for the black because it turns out kind of a purplish color. So I might not even use these. I might just save them and just use regular black um, diamonds for this painting. Because, yeah, purple doesn't always look nice on the black. And then here is, this one is 161. And this one is another kind of a, a, a bluish gray. But yeah, like I said, they all look cool. Kind of matches my, nail, my nails. But yeah, kind of uh, really, really pretty there. Pretty blue. So yeah, I'll probably just leave this plain black. And then I'll use these three colors here for their ABs. That's what I'm thinking. So it does come with four ABs. I don't see any more in here. Like I said, the diamonds all look really nice on here. Very, very nice. Yep. So I'll put them back in the bag for now. So we keep them all together. I made a nice mess. And we're going to see which way is this fold. Oh. There we go. Alright. Now we're going to fold it here. We seal it so it doesn't fall out. There we go. So beautiful lady. Here is your thumbnail right there of her. Hopefully you can see her good. Let me there you go. Look how pretty she is. Absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous. And I think I have a set of four of these. Four or six. I can't remember now. I'll have to look under my matches. Because that's where I have them stored. I usually store my bigger paintings under my matches to keep to keep them flat. And I just want to measure this one too, just to see if one centimeter. So we're gonna just measure. And again, it is almost a true forty. So they are true to size, at least these uh, ladies here. And like I said. I'll ask my husband for the links and if you can find them they will be in my description and if not and if you're interested in any of these that I showed you today I will do my darnest to find them somewhere out there on the uh, net no I'm pretty sure that these ones came from FG normal because they were the collection from from that so we had that lady there really beautiful lady then we have this one here absolutely gorgeous lady there and then we had this little and they're all true 40 by 40s and this one is the square and this is the little girl and they all have the same canvases so that's what I'm thinking they all came from the from the same place and I'm pretty sure that was all FG normal so there's my little girl and her puppy dog there hopefully you can see that and then Move this one here. Oh, geez. Put that one back in. I don't even know where the bag for that one is. Okay, hold on. And then I got this little deer here from AliExpress. 
that one that much I know this one definitely came from Aliexpress and that is my haul for you today I absolutely love I think my favorite is the little girl and her puppy because I absolutely love the ladies though too and this deer is adorable so I don't know but I think this this little girl and a the dog then this little deer and then the pictures of my ladies because they're just so pretty as well so thank you hubby the soul comes surprise of hubby he does that every once in a while he'll treat me and he'll surprise me with diamond paintings and then he'll forget where he's ordered them from <laughs> Oh, so cute. So, so cute. So, but that's, yeah, that's it. And these are all the diamonds. All the pretty diamonds. And then here's the trays. All the nice trays. There we go. <laughs> There's my stock. Alright, I'm going to flip you up here. Hi. All right, thank you so much for joining me. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. Love to have you here in our RV family. And yes, this is my cozy corner. Um, I still have celebrating um, for July for Canada Day and uh, July 4th. Um, Miss Linda this morning, I was watching her and she was saying, people were setting off fireworks at 2.30 in the morning. So I guess there's still people out there celebrating. So I was like, hmm, why can't I? <laughs> but yeah, I'll probably leave this up all month just for the month of July and then we'll change it again for uh, August. Um, still waiting on some packages to come in. I contacted um, Timu and said, okay, it has been 10 days. Are my packages lost? I just want to know, are they lost? And they said, oh, we're so sorry for your inconvenience. Here's $5. <laughs> I says, well, if I do this every day, will I still get, will I get $5? <laughs> so they credited my account for $5. So I'm going to try again today and say, I still haven't received my packages. Do you know where they are? Maybe they'll say, we're so sorry for the inconvenience. Here's $5. <laughs> Who knows? It might work. But anyway, uh, it was just kind of funny how they, uh, just think that five bucks is just going to, you know, magically make either the packages appear or make you happy. Of course it makes you happy, right? Five dollars credit, wow, you can buy more stuff, but it's like, yeah, I'm waiting on these packages so my husband and I can do our weird theme. We were hoping to do it this weekend, but we'll have to wait and see and uh, see if it comes in. Because that's what I'm waiting for, is my weird themed items. Uh, but with that, guys, thank you so much for joining me. Such a pleasure. I just love spending time with you all. And I hope you have a very blessed day. It is Wednesday. It is hump day. If it is hot in your area, please um, keep hydrated and um, stay safe out there. So from my home to yours, God's richest blessings. And I'll see you on the next one. Mwah.